All right, got my controller set up. Um, I want to show you guys how to do this, by the way. So, welcome to the video. My bad, forgot to welcome you guys. Um, I'm just going to remove my PS4 controller. As you see, the lights on. When I remove it, it wants to remove. Okay, well, it's not it's not paired anyway. Um, removing device, so the light's off, and then it's gone. So it's gone. What you want to do for a PS4 controller anyway, you hold down the share button and the PSN button at the same time until it starts doing that. Just flash, 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 flash. Go to add Bluetooth device, wireless controller, and your device is ready to go. As easy as that, and then connected um i also find it's better to probably close out steam just in case you have it open it, it might use the steam like settings and might ruin something but now we're going to open up the dolphin emulator so um i'll show you guys where to download it from the link is in the description also sorry I'm, sorry i'm wearing a hoodie i'm very cold um <laughs> yeah so literally let's go to dolphin Dolphin-emu.org. Is that a hyphen? Yeah, I guess so. Or dash, I don't know. Just download Dolphin for Windows, Mac, Linux. Just click that. And then you decide where to download it from. I literally did this three days ago, and it works. Uh, so once you have it all downloaded, um, you go to Dolphin. It also helps to like create a new folder and just call it games or something which is what I did here and I have my Galaxy 2 in here so what you want to do once you have a game open you click on open all files and then you can actually select what it is because not all of them are like the correct one this one is but yeah and now like I'll just show you guys that it does actually work what do we hear from the sound So yeah, it, it does work. I'll just close it out. Um, I was going to show you guys my controls for Galaxy 2. Um, so yeah. This is just like temporary controls as well, because obviously, if you guys play Galaxy 2 or Galaxy 1, you know that there are motion controls where you have to like fly a fluzzard, for example, in Galaxy 2. You need to fly a bird and it's like it uses motion control. And you have to like move your controller like this, or your Wii, re, Wii remote like this. You can, I guess, bind it something to your something. You just have to work it out. You have to adjust unless you buy a sensor bar that can plug into your computer through USB. That also works, but I don't have that yet. Just make do with what you have. Um, so what you do, go over to controllers. Emulate the Wii, Wii's Bluetooth adapter. Um, yeah, and as to emulated, emulated Wii Remote, and click Configure because this is for Wii Remotes. That's for GameCube. You want to do this one down here, Configure. And as you see, like it's pretty different than what it used to be. Um, so as you see, my A and B, my A is my left click. So that's like jump. B is right click, which is shooting the um, star bits. And then D pad. It's that's like for vision control in Gal in Galaxy Two. So I just have that for my D pad on my controller. Um. So like up, down, left, right. And then um. What is it now? Extensions. Some reason it isn't wanting to show up, but it it will work. Um, uh, for my X Y Z, like for shaking, I just have it as um, what is it? R one or L one? Sorry. So I only use this part of the controller. The other part I don't use. Um, but I just use L one for shake. 
For Z, I use L2 because that's like what you use to crouch and to long jump and to side flip and everything. And the analog stick is obviously your movement. Um, so once that's all set up, you can load it up. Hopefully it works. For some reason it wasn't doing that. Maybe my controller isn't properly connected. Obviously it doesn't have to be Bluetooth. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys. So A, B, start the game. I don't think my controller is properly connected, actually. So what I'm going to do is go over to Bluetooth settings. I might just remove it. When it wants to. Moving device. It also, you don't have to use Bluetooth. Um, you could just plug it in, like through it, through a um, micro USB cable, which I have plugged into my headset right now. So yeah, Bluetooth. Hold down share and. Yes, send button for the light to start flashing like so, and then click it. Wireless controller is connected. We're setting up a device. So yeah, it's it's in now. Hopefully, okay. Yeah, now it's working. See, so when I click up, it actually like highlights. I'll move this over so you guys can see. So when I click. Up, 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 see how it does that? Down, does this. On the screen here, it shows you what's working. So obviously my analog stick's doing that. My that, and then that, which is cool. Now, um, for motion controls, you can, what I do is I use my mouse cursor as well, by the way. So that's that's like when you're using your sensor and you're like aiming it. But obviously you don't have that, so I just use my mouse because it's I guess it's more accurate if you think about it really. So I just, you just click it and then you just like move your mouse in the way that you do that. Yeah, see I just did something wrong. But yeah. So cursor Y negative your um Graphics card, assuming you have one. Um, can do show FPS. You can do use full screen VSync. I just use VSync because I have 120 hertz. I want to, you know, be showing 120 hertz. Um, can do show FPS, obviously. Now I do 1080p because I have a 1080p monitor. Obviously, if you if you have like a 1366 by 768 to 720p, but I don't, so I have this. Um, you don't really need to do anything in here, and hacks you don't really want to if you want to play like the default game. But yeah, um, you can change all of this depending on what your CPU and GPU and stuff are, but I just decide not to. And obviously the games are actually really loud. If I have it up here, people next door will be able to hear it through my headphones. So I just have it on two percent, just because my volume is a hundred. Um. So yeah, that's all I really need to show you guys, I guess. So again, this is these are my settings. And then the nunchuck. So this is just on the D-pad, up, down, left, right, and then... So it's basically a nunchuck. That half, if you cut it in half, you cover this, it's basically a nunchuck. It just has a D-pad there. So use that as what it would be on the nunchuck. That is useless, so you might as well just use it for shake. And then that, you just calibrate it. Up, down, left, right. 
as easy as that. As you see, the red dot follows when I up, down, left, well, sorry, up, down, left, right. Follows it. So that's cool. You can find the tilt to this, the swing, whatever you want. But yeah, that's what I do. So I hope this helped you all. Uh, links in the description to Dolphin Emulator and also, I guess, Galaxy 2 if you guys want. Or I can just link the website where you can download the ROMs from, which is probably easier. Which I might do that, actually. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be some CSGO gameplay, because that's what I stream now. So yeah, have a good one, guys. Peace.